We're the nation that put cars in driveways and computers in offices. The nation of Edison and the Wright brothers. You can name any career field and say why creativity is important. But the problem is it's not being taught. What America does better than anyone else is spark the creativity and imagination of our people. We always revert to the same two or three examples. Imagine if we were able to talk about a hundred Steve Jobs and a hundred Bill Gates uh, and a hundred Steven Spielbergs. Then all of a sudden we realize that there's so much more that can be developed and can be created and produced by our society, by our culture. When you look at how well the education system promotes creativity, they probably get a D <laughs> at this point. As children get older, they start getting pushed into there's a right answer, there's not a right answer, there's only one answer, you have to do it this way. And so they can unlearn being creative as, as much as they can learn it. I don't think that the education system does very well in teaching creativity. About 99% of going to school is finding the right answer. The United States in general has been very good at throughout time, has been able to really think outside the box and to be creative and find innovative approaches to things. Um, and I think that if we don't acknowledge that and we don't nurture that in our children, then we're really putting them on a pathway where they're going to have a very different, um, narrow-minded future in terms of where we go from here. I think there's a lot of dangerous things happening in education. I think that's a strong word, but I, I believe that we're really undermining our creative potential. and. It's critical as we look at a more uncertain future that we are prepared for that. I think it, more now than in any other decade, if we are not willing to bring forward the cre creative potential of our students, knowledge alone is not going to get us very far.